Hi everyone, welcome back to Nail of the Week. And I've got a pretty interesting one, so stay tuned. Welcome everyone, good to see all of you. And today is Nail of the Week as I was saying, and I'm pretty excited about it. For one, I just recently did an outfit of the day beach look. I want to thank every one of you. I was so nervous to do that look and I you know, thought long and hard about it before I would actually do the video and everything and I was just nervous about it. And you know, I've got so much pride and I just, don't think myself to be a person that would do a look like that, but from all your comments and just all of the things that you guys have said to me, it really has helped me to be happy about doing that video. I'm really glad I did it now, so thank you guys so much. So much support and so much love. I appreciate it. Now, because I did a beach look, I had so much fun that I decided to transfer it into my nails. I've got a beach scene going on these nails. Aren't these beautiful? I did a gradient look from blue down to the sand the sand look and then i've got the palm trees and a bunch of treasures in that sand aren't these fun looking i also used some of the pieces that i got from my good friend jan the pearls and the gold seashells again like i used in the last video so i'm pretty excited about these nails i love them and i love anything blue i just think these turned out just fabulous and no i'm not doing another beach look for the outfit of the day to go with these actually i'm doing kind of a casual but cute look Hope you guys will enjoy that, but let's get started on this design. I love you all very much. God bless. Take care, and I'll see each and every one of you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification if you're new. I love you guys. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. So this is what I chose for this week's nail design, a beautiful beach scene. If you'd like to see how I did this one, then please continue watching. Hello everyone and welcome back. It is that time of the week for a beautiful nail design. Now I just got done doing for an outfit of the day, a beach look. Now I want a beach look on my nails. How fun, right? And I started off with this beautiful white polish. It is Sally Hansen, and it is called Let's Snow 195. And then I will be taking that, these two blue polishes from Kiss, and this gold one here to do a gradient look. This one here, I'm trying to use up these ones. I've gotten so many of these polishes, and I want to try to use each and every one of them. So if I can include them in a nail design, I'm going to because I love them, and I want to see how each and every one works. It's this one here, the darkest blue. I'm going to start at the top, and that's going to be Summer Rain. I use this one in my giveaway, my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I believe so. And then this one here is a lighter blue, and it is called Cloud Candy. Wonderful name for it. Then this will be the end of, you know, the three colors to the end. And then I'm going to add in this gold for the sand at the very bottom. And it's called Go for Gold. I will be working with makeup sponges. These ones here I got from Dollar Tree. They're right here. I love it. One dollar for a nice pack. Now, because they are not the length of my nail, see, I couldn't do that. They're not the length. So I'm going to turn it and work with it this way. So it's long enough for my nail. So I'll be lining up the colors going down like this. So if you have longer nails, just turn the sponge. And then when I get done with that, I'm going to be working with black acrylic paint. I'm going to be doing some palm trees. My good friend Jan was suggesting some different looks for me and she was saying how easy it is to do palm trees. So I'm gonna do some palm trees coming off the top of it um, in black because I kind of want it to look kind of like the background. Like when you do a black palm tree like that instead of a green palm tree, it looks almost like a night scene then is almost what you're saying or, or a shadow of a palm tree. So I'm doing that. 
I will be using my longer liner. It is zero, it needs to be cleaned, but I keep them dirty while I'm not using them because it keeps them uh, to last longer. So I'll be using that. If that one doesn't work because it's pretty thin, I'm gonna use my 10 over zero then. So I will know as I go along. And then I'm going to be putting some things on my nails. I'm going to be using some more of these gold shells. I love them so much on my last design. <clears throat> and for a beach scene, you can't beat better than having shells. And I'm also gonna use these pearls in there, along with, <coughs> sorry, gosh, clear my throat here. Along with these tiny little baby blue rhinestones. I'm gonna be just kind of doing that um, throughout the design. And then these here, I got these a while back at, I can't even remember, I think Hobby Lobby. They are starfish, look at this. Aren't they cute? They really are, you know, the look of a real starfish. Now, of course, I'll be using the tiny ones in there, but these ones here are pretty stiff. So I'm gonna try, I tried them one time on my nails and they were really breaking up bad. I'm gonna see if I get them wet if they work better. I'm gonna let them soak in a little bit of water before I put them on to see if they'll, they'll soften and they'll go on easier. So, and then um, before I put any of the rhinestones or anything on, I possibly might be using my Northern Lights, which is a holographic top coat. You shake up and then it gives this beautiful shimmer micro glitter. Absolutely gorgeous. I might put that on first and then of course all the rhinestones and stuff. So, I am going to get started on the sponging. I will return to show you how I'm doing that. All right, so I have done one coat of the gradient look. I've left one finger open to show you, but look at even one coat is so beautiful. I did not use anything to put around the nails to protect them. There's not gonna be much cleanup, so I'm not worried about it. I will show you the cleanup. But anyways, I've left one finger open to show you, so let me show you how I'm doing that. I will definitely be doing a second coat of everything. So here's my sponge. So I'm just gonna work with the colors here. I'm gonna start with the darkest color at the top here. And it's always great to work with a wet sponge. I do have it wet. That's the best way to work with these sponges. Get them wet, squeeze out the excess water, and then start working with them. Next one in color. And then white. I'm just doing a thin line of white here because I've already got white on the nails. And then that gold. And I love using this gold here because it definitely does look like the sand at the bottom. Looks like your sky, kind of your water, and your sand. So I'm just gonna come up to the finger right here I'm gonna start by setting it down, lining it up in the colors, and just roll it over the finger like that first. Then you're gonna pat, okay? Whoops, pat. But then I'm gonna go back and roll my finger again like that, just kind of lining up the colors better. Up here, when you see that it's not getting in there very well, just go to your darkest color there and put it in like that. And again, one more time. And then just on the tip, I'm just gonna get that gold on the tip. So. That is your first round of gradient. I am going to do all of them again with a second sponge now. I'm gonna use a new sponge and I will show you that. I'll leave a finger open to show you. All right, I'm back and I've done a second coat, but you see I left this finger open um, for to show you guys, but you can see now it's getting darker. And I'm gonna stick with just two coats. I might do a little bit more of that darker blue just at the top. But let's go ahead and show you another round of this. So we're gonna paint on this darkest blue at the top. Oops. And then the next one in line, the lighter blue. And the white. Just one swipe across of that. And the gold. And then again, I'm just gonna line up my finger here and I'm gonna set it down and go across. And then I'm gonna kinda go up a little higher so I get that gold in there better, like that. And then down so I can fix that white. Just kinda move in your sponge just a little bit here and there and I'm just gonna put a little bit more blue into the top there. But there you go, I mean, that in itself looks like the sky, the clouds, water, and sand. Doesn't it look beautiful? I love it. So I am going to let these dry up. I'm gonna do one more round of just the darker blue at the top, and I will show you that. I'll leave a finger open. 
All right, so now every one of them have been done just at the top with a little extra of that blue, except for this finger. You see the difference? So all I did was take my sponge with just the blue, and I'm just at the top of it now, just a clean sponge. And because they're only a dollar for a whole bag, I don't even worry about using different sides. I just use a new one. So I'm just going like that, and then I'm just gonna go to my finger like this and just go to the very top, top just patting it because you want that gradient look. So just patting it where that darker blue was, like that. And you see it got it darker now. Now you can see the colors going down. You see that? That is so pretty. So what I'm gonna do here, what happened here? Oh, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna fix that one up there. I'm gonna put a little bit more blue here. I'll show you guys. This one, the baby blue one. I'm just gonna put a little bit on this sponge here. I did it at that end. So I know a lot of you guys wanna see how I fix my mistakes. That one right there, because it's got the white on it, I'm just gonna go just like this real quick and just fix it like that. And then I'm gonna add a little white into the center here and turn my finger around just so I can get the white in there and go like that. There, like that, that's better. It just was really bad. It had a big white spot on it or something, I don't know. So, okay, so I'm going to do the cleanup work now, but I'll return to show you how I'm doing that. I'll just do like one or two fingers just to show you because I know I've been requested to show some of the cleanup. So let me get some of them done and I'll return. Okay, I'm back and I've done all the cleanup, but I've left this one finger open to show you. I'm gonna start off with a Q-tip for this because <clears throat> this is more cleanup than normal, you know? So I'm gonna use a Q-tip first. Now you wanna get your Q-tip wet in 100% acetone, but go on your paper towel and wipe some of it off because you don't want it to drip into your uh, nail design. So just go like this and go around the nail, getting off all the excess paint and just kind of wipe it on your towel. Go back in again, wipe again to get some of the excess off so it's not so wet. And try not to get too close to your design because if you do, then you're gonna wipe off your paint. So just go as close as you can to it because you're gonna use the finer brush to get in there and really clean up. So just going like this around. And because we're using so much acetone, you are definitely gonna use cuticle oil when you're done here because it's very drying to the nail bed. So like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take my fine brush here, this one right here, and I'm going to get in even closer now. Now what you do is you dip, wipe off just a little dab on your towel, because like I said, you don't want it soaked, and then get in closer around the edges here, each time wiping on your paper towel. Again, wipe, going around the edges like this to get real close in there. Like that, that's what's nice about these fine brushes is you can get in there really close and get some good cleanup work done. But always wipe off like that, wipe it off as you're doing it so you're not dragging the color with. And then get more, dab, wipe, clean, you know, like that. Just keep going like that until you get it completely cleaned up. And like I said, to the very end, when you're all done with your design and it's all dry and everything, then use cuticle oil because it's very drying to the skin. So. There you go, got all cleaned up there. Now I did, as you see, I got a little bit close here to the nail and a little bit of white is showing. So I'm gonna grab my blue paint and I'm gonna wipe off as much as I can off the brush and just lightly, I'm gonna come in and just lightly just fill in right there where I got a little bit close with the Q-tip. So you gotta be really careful with that Q-tip because you don't want to get too close to the skin. But there we go, now I was able to fill that in and I fixed the problem. So there's how little tips and stuff like that just to be able to fix things. So now what I'm going to do is add my Northern Lights and I will return. All right, so I'm back. I did not do the Northern Lights yet. I forgot I had to do the palm trees first. And as you see, I've got the palm trees coming off the sides like that the thumbs I doubled up. Isn't that just so like Hawaiian-like and just, I don't know, tropical looking. It's just beautiful. I love it. Okay, so let me show you how I'm doing that. I'm gonna draw in. I am using the longer liner. That one is working great, the number zero, and it's a longer liner. I am using that one. Now, as I'm doing each one, I'm coming to one side and then the other one, I'm gonna come to the other side and then so forth like that. 
So I'm going to dip into the paint here. Not too much, but about like that. I'm going to come up, whoop, come up to the nail here. Make sure that it's not like a big glob at the end of your brush, okay? So kind of wipes them off. And then I'm gonna come up to the end of the, the nail here and I'm gonna come to the top and just go like this and kind of just give it a little pull like that. Then very simply just go like this and put some lines in like that. Then I'm gonna do another one below it. Okay, come around and pull. Put some lines in like that. Very easy to do these. And then I'm gonna do another one above. So I'm gonna come up here. Hopefully I'm not in your way. And I'm gonna go like this, come around and pull. So it gets that line and then just pull some little lines down to be the palm tree. Now, I wanna bring these together. So I'm just gonna bring the black in like this and come around and come around like this so they connect like that. Isn't that just cute? And like I said, just so, I don't know, it reminds me definitely of the beach. Definitely reminds me of a beach scene and I love it. So I'm gonna draw out here and I'm going to let these dry up. Now I'm gonna add the Northern Lights and then I'm going to come back and start adding the gems and stuff. All right, I'm back and I've done every finger except for this one with the Northern Lights. I'll have to get up close to show you. Isn't that so pretty with that perfect, just soft, micro glitter in there if you can see that i hope you can see that really good see that well there you go you can see it on the thumbs isn't that gorgeous so i've left this finger open so i'm just going to do a coat of the northern lights and i'll draw in just so you can see hopefully you'll be able to see it really good now and i just think this really tops it off is that northern lights you know just to give it that beautiful just perfect shimmer glitter just perfect where it's not overwhelming and doesn't cover your design just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, that was a motorcycle that just went by. But okay, I am going to now add some gems. I don't think I'm going to do every finger. I think just some because I really like this look, but I will be back to show you what I'm doing. All right, I'm back and I've got them all decorated like gems in the sand treasures. Isn't that cool? And then the one finger I did the starfish. And that, I'll tell you what, I kept it in the water a long time and it was still really hard to put on. It was trying to break. So, but it turned out really cool and I love the pearls and the other gold shells and everything. So, let me show you how I'm doing this. Just left one finger open, just having some fun. So I'm just gonna use my orange wood stick and I'm just gonna get some nail glue and I'm just gonna put um, some spots around, but starting with we're gonna do the star, so I kinda of need this, a big area of glue there. Okay, make sure that it goes out pretty far, because that star is pretty big. Okay, now we're gonna take the star out of the water here. And we're gonna set it right onto the nail, even though it's wet, that's fine. I set it on the nail, and I'm gonna start with this tool here, I'm gonna do the this so I can go both sides like that, pushing it down because I have to kind of break this starfish or bend it like on each side like that. And then I'm gonna hold that down and this side down. Like I said, I got these from Hobby Lobby and I love them. I really do. I just wanna make sure, I'm gonna get a little bit more glue up under this side of the starfish there a little bit more there and put it down but they break pretty easy so you have to be really careful with these once they're on they're on but I remember the last time I was doing this it really was a pain in the butt because they were breaking and everything but then I thought maybe to get it wet so that's what I did and let's get a little bit more glue up under here and push it down into the glue there like that. Okay. And then I'm going to just around it, if you see this one, I just put a small pearl and a couple of those gems. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna put a couple little dots of glue kind of around the starfish. 
And then I'm gonna pick up some tiny pearls. I'll put one there. And I love that Jan gave me a variety of pearls, different sizes, I love them. And then I'll put the gem right there. And another one of the gems right there. Isn't this one just fun though? I mean, this is definitely like a beach look. Um, just, it's so cool, like tropical looking. I don't know, it's just beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. Let me draw it back here. So, and I do love that Northern Lights being behind it. So I am going to top coat everything. I'll be back to show you the end product. All right, I am all done and I have to say, I am loving this one. Isn't this just darling? I just did a beach outfit of the day look, and now I wanted beach on my nails. Can't get any better than that for the summer, right? I love the way these turned out. Aren't they just darling with the pearls and the shells? Like digging for gold, right? It's like treasure in the sand. I love them. I just think they turned out just absolutely adorable. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you will try it out. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in my next video. Take care, everyone, and God bless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.